Here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. All right, unfortunately, not a great day to be outdoors for tomorrow, but I don't think it'll be as bad as last Saturday. Let's get you to our weather headlines. And before we even get into the showers on Saturday, we can briefly focus on today. Today will be warm, but quite nice. Humidity much, much lower than what we've had the past couple days. Weekend showers around, not raining the whole time, but certainly some of these showers could be heavy both Saturday and Sunday. And then as we go into next week, we're talking about more humidity. Now, this weekend will be a little bit muggy, but we're going to have that ultra muggy air mass move in by next week with two points going back into the low to mid 70s. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 not showing any precipitation locally. A few little specks of green out to our west, but we're going to keep it mostly dry throughout the afternoon. In fact, many spots will stay completely dry. We're in the mid 80s in Providence, 82 in Smithfield, 84 in Newport, 86 in Westerly. I do expect the coast to cool off a little bit more this afternoon as a few of these sea breezes get going. Right now, the, the winds are kind of lazy, five miles an hour with variable wind direction in Newport and five miles an hour from the northwest in Westerly. A lot of people enjoying the beach. Why not? Blue skies over Narragansett Town Beach and in Newport we have sunny skies with temperatures in the mid 80s. Not a bad afternoon to be outside. Our other weather station in Westerly reporting a warm 86 degrees and this is a stalled cold front which will eventually drift further down to the south and stall across southern New England for several days and that will make for unsettled weather. Now, Here's the trend as we go for tomorrow. The highest risk of some localized street flooding would be to the north and west of Providence. Just a slight risk south and east of Providence. So if you're in New Bedford or the East Bay, a much lower risk of uh, that isolated street flooding. In fact, as we take you through the future cast going hour by hour, we start things out this evening. A few isolated showers and thunderstorms are possible. Into tonight, chance of some heavy rain, especially north and west of our viewing area. But notice what happens as we go into tomorrow. This is tomorrow morning around 9 o'clock in the morning. Chance of some showers and thunderstorms downpours to our northwest. Even a few of these could be clipping the Providence area, but south and east of Providence, I think for a good part of the Saturday, say for instance, you're over on the East Bay, Bristol, Barrington, out towards Fall River, you may get a lot of time where it's not raining at all, or if it is, it's coming down very, very late. Now, it's not going to be a great, beautiful, sunny day with cooler winds and clouds, but still not raining the whole time. By later on Saturday afternoon, this axis of moisture tries to get a little bit closer, so we could see some heavier rain, especially north and west of 295 in Rhode Island. And then Saturday night into Sunday morning, we hang on to the chance of showers, and some of these could be heavy throughout the day on Sunday. I don't see Sunday as a washout either, but there definitely could be some times where it's coming down fairly hard with some thunderstorms and heavy rain. So that's just kind of the weekend we face. As we face this afternoon, it's much better. Temperatures in the low 70s to low 80s, especially as we pull in some of these weaker sea breezes into the afternoon. Mid to upper 80s for inland spots. You could see Attleboro, Seekonk, Taunton getting up to around 87 degrees and this evening it's very comfortable slight chance of a shower but with lower humidity around 77 at 8 p.m. so we'll take that and then our dew point forecast shows it does get a little muggier this weekend but it's really next week where those dew points in the mid 70s try to return along with some warmer temperatures it does stay unsettled though Monday and Tuesday with a chance for some showers and temperatures in the low 80s so again stay tuned to Tony's forecast tonight we'll try to time the showers out for you as we go into the weekend at least not raining the entire time. All right, Pete, thank you. Yep. Now we want to let you know we're working on for stories live.